Microbiology laboratory infrastructure. An ideal sophisticated laboratory should have the following infrastructure. So move towards the components of a mean microbiology laboratory. Most of the laboratory activities are performed in the main laboratory. It should have sufficient space inside. A concentrate shelf with marble top which should be project from the wall for keeping the equipment and for performing routine works. Shelf sinks and gas connection should be kept in the lab. Prepared chemicals and reagents should be kept on the shelf of the tables. Disinfectant solution should be kept on each table in a bottle along with a sponge pad. Before and after each experiment, the table top must be cleaned with the disinfectant solution using the sponge pad. At one corner of the lab, an autoclave, preferably a double jacket horizontal autoclave, should be kept. All the equipment such as oval microbiological incubator and other equipment should be kept on the shelf. This room should be kept neat and clean as most of the sophisticated instruments are kept in it. It should be air conditioned to make it dust free and to reduce humidity as well as to avoid high ambient temperature. Otherwise, accumulation of dust particles on and inside the instrument as well as exposure to a high temp room temperature decreases the longevity of the instrument. At the same time, high humid conditions can lead to the rusting of their metallic components and fungal growth on optical parts such as microscope, lenses and photo tubes or photo spectros photometer. The instrument to be kept on the floor of the room include fridge refrigerated centrifuge and ultra centrifuge. In routine microbiological analysis, very often it is required to isolate different types of bacteria in samples to maintain the isolated bacteria as pure culture and to identify them in subsequent days by performing several tests. The isolated pure culture of unknown bacteria are maintained in this room for further identification. Great care is taken for in this room so that the pure culture do not get contaminated with other bacteria. The electron microscope is installed in this room and the room should be air conditioned. This room is meant for inoculation of bacteria, transfer of bacteria from one container to another. Sometimes unmounted microorganisms, usually floating in air on dust particles, may enter into container and contaminate the pure stock culture as well as the inoculated ones. To overcome this, room is kept extremely hygienic. The walls should be plastic painted and the room should be air conditioned. There should be laminar flow chamber with gas connection for inoculation of bacteria, a bottle of disinfectant solution, a sponge pad and a disposed jar should be kept beside the laminar flow chamber as in the case of table in the main lab. The storeroom should be closed from all sides with entrance into the main lab. There should be no window, otherwise the chemicals may get spoiled. There should be a number of concentrate shelves for storage of chemicals, reagents, glassware and other such items. The room should not be open unless needed. The chemicals should be arranged alphabetically on the shelf for easy location. Laboratory animals such as rabbits, rats for required for in vivo, in natural condition studies as well as to get blood. These animals are reared in the animal house located slightly away from the main building. The house is designated in such a way that it is well ventilated and can be easily cleaned daily. This keeps the room hygienic and the animals remain disease free.
A small room adjacent to the animal house where animal feeds, medicine and other such items required for the animals should be stored. The separate room for the head of the unit should be present. It should have excellent official interior decoration which should be maintained properly. Separate room should be present for the scientists and other researchers. Separate room for the administrative staff of the laboratory should be present. In this room, the books should be kept on shelf or inside glass fitted cupboards. Recent journals should be displayed on slanting display boards. Table and chair should be arranged for reading inside the library. The seminar hall should be furnished with required furniture. Besides, there should be a blackboard, a projection screen, an LCD projector, an overhead projector, a slide projector, and uh, video equipment and audio system. Important charts, diagram, photos, particularly those highlighting the achievement of the laboratory and ongoing research work should be displayed on the walls. The windows should have deep color curtain to make the room dark when required for visual pre presentation. For the head of the laboratory, the office room, staff room and seminar hall should have separate toilets in addition to a common toilet. There should be a garage behind the building for parking of the vehicles. The space surrounding the building should have a lawn with tall plants near the boundary walls. So this was all about the infrastructure of microbiology lab. Hope you like this video so don't forget to share it and to like it. And for further videos subscribe my youtube channel. Thank you so much.